What's poppin'? It's your boy, the boy Henry Heck, back at it again with another video representing that GG or die. Today has been a succulent day. We finally got this news in regards to the PlayStation Portable device. The PlayStation Portal is here. Previously known as, you know, the Q Light, you know, but it's here now. At an entry cost of $199. You can have this PlayStation 5 accessory in order to access your whole PS5 library on the go, provided you got Wi Fi connection. But it's here. It's here. And in light of, you know, all the negativity that's out here surrounding the device, of it ain't native. And I, of course, I would love if it was native. When I first heard the rumblings and it came out that it was possibly not going to be native. This is before like the official, not the official official release, but before it came over on the last showcase that it wasn't going to be, you know, have native. You weren't going to be able to play games native. You know what I mean? I was, I was, I was, I was sour. You know what I'm saying? I was sour because I love the Vita. I still play my Vita regularly. You know what I mean? But, you know, trying to look on the bright side, I began to just, you know what I'm saying? Just look and really think because I do use remote play. You know, the main thing that turned me off about remote play was having to use my phone, um, which I don't like. I don't like my phone being held hostage. I don't like having trash battery life after I get through. So I have to jump back on the, the phone charge because you're going to have to jump back on that phone charge. Oh, yeah. After you get through the set, a little session, you own that charge, my boy. You own that. You know what I mean? And I just didn't like not having my phone to do phone stuff. You know what I mean? It was just it was just a turn off. And it, you know the touch screen controls touch screen controls i don't know i couldn't get that out the touch screen controls so you know and i was not finna buy no backbone because why but i did end up ordering uh it's a little mount you can get for like ten dollars on amazon where you can put on your your dual sense and then slide your phone into it and you can play that way which works extremely well i, I do enjoy that it's fire but it still didn't alleviate the problem with me not having my phone for phone shit you know what i mean which is the main issue but now we got this dedicated device that can do that and do it better through this ps link situation you know what i mean which we still don't know much about yet but you know what i'm saying ain't nothing like having dedicated hardware ain't nothing like having dedicated hardware i don't care who you are it's the b's and the e's you feel me the b's and the e's you know, so when this this news dropped today, I am hype. It's dropping for the end of the year. I'm hype. You know, they launching some the buds alongside for like the buds of 199 also, and then a new elite style headset. It's like 150, 160. You know, that has a cool like hanging charging attachment to it, so you can like have it hang fire, fire. And as far as aesthetics, looks, PlayStation has been killing it whole gen. Everything just tied into each other just so nice. It looks so oh, it, it look it look alien. You know what I mean? It look alien technology-ish. You know, I mess with it. I mess with it. Heavy it's sleek. Even though when I first seen the, the Q light, I was like, oh man, it's kinda of ugly. It's kinda of ugly. But it ties into the theme of the PlayStation 5. It ties into the PlayStation 5 theme. You know what I mean? And and, and upon doing some reflection, it's like I think it's ugly because I had this whole when I first heard that it was a thing I had it I had this mental image of what it would look like you know and it didn't meet that at all so I'm like all right don't look like how I pictured it looks so it's ugly you know what I mean it still look it still look odd but you know it fits into the theme of you know the PS5 the dual sense the PSVR2 the ear but like all of it fit together all of it really fit together. They did an awesome job with that. And then with the buzz, we slide to the left. It got the little, it got the little light beam on the bottom, like the similar light beam that's on the control. Man, they did. They did it. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people. They they always oh, pointless. It's dead, man. Just because you think it's pointless because you can use your phone. Listen, can the phone do it? Yeah. But while the phone is doing it, it's not doing what phones designed to do. You know what I mean? And that's the main thing for me. Y'all, you remote play? 
the folks are saying that nine times out of ten ain't even using remote play anyway. So when when certain individuals put throw that, you you you're not doing that anyway. So I don't know why you doing that. You know what I'm mean? because you're not using your phone for it anyway. You know, and like I said, I get that it's not native. You're not playing native, and it's annoying. And we wish it was playing native, and all that. I get all that, but you know. Just because the device don't do that, don't mean it's a pointless device. You know what I'm saying? It don't make the device just a cash. I seen somebody say cash grab. How's this a cash grab? It's a cash grab. How? Nobody has explained how it's a cash grab. They, they, you know, folks on the internet, they just say shit. They just say shit. It's a cash grab. How? And they don't reply. You know what I'm saying? Because they just say, they just on the net, just talking, just saying stuff. It's this is it's not a cash grab. They sent up here and implemented PS Link, which is a new technology. You know, this device is using PSVR2 analogs and components. You know, now the thing about that is, is because I seen an interesting comment like, how was this device gonna handle? You know, as far as stick drift, triggers failing. So now this is that's a good point. That's a real good point. I don't, and so I got to think and say using PSVR2 components. Are the PSVR2 components more durable than the components that's inside the dual sense? I don't know. It was a good question. It was a real good question. You know, I ain't got the answers. They ain't spoke on it. I'm not going to worry about it because I've been an extremely, extremely lucky individual whom I've not experienced stick drift at all this whole gen. But I'm not gonna sit up here and say it don't happen because I've also known an individual who they don't like they fifth dual sin, fifth they they going through them. They going through them. So it's probably case by case user. It's probably it's probably a lot of, of different factors that go in, you know, hand in hand as far as why certain individuals experience a lot of having a lot of problems with stick drill. Might be the games they play, might be the way they play. Well not necessarily the games that they play. It might be just the way they play certain games and just just wear and tear and how they handle the control the control itself you know what i mean i'm really not rough on controllers and whatnot i i probably drop my I, I ain't gonna sit here and say i don't drop my stuff i do but i can count i can count on one hand the amount of times i've dropped my controller you know what i mean i make it a point because even with my phones right not to like go off on a whole separate thing but even with my phones i have my phone caseless i don't just i'm not just dropping stuff you know what i mean I have a phone case list. I make it a point to sit it on the flat surface. I make it a point to stick it all the way in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? When I'm holding it, I'm holding it. You know, I'm not just prancing around, you know what I'm saying, doing the dugging and all this other foolishness while I got my devices in my hand. I like to take a lot of care of my stuff because this stuff is expensive. $70 for a controller, that is expensive. I'm not rich. I'm not poor. $70 is $70. You know what I mean? And um but yeah, back to the device, man. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a fair amount of use out of this device. You know, my family is fortunate enough to go on quite a few vacations a year and will we stay? Wi-Fi is succulent. Oh my goodness, it's succulent. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. And I can have my PS5 without having my PS5? You ever try to pack up your PS5? See, the thing about the PS4, you can throw that thing with bag, keep pushing. You not doing that with no 5. You not throwing no 5 in no book bag and keeping it pushing. That's not happening. That is not happening at all. It's a, it's a, it's a chore to pack that joint up. It's a chore. You know, you could get a dedicated bag. Told them not. No, why? The portal is here. I got the portal. I snatch up the portal. Bring me a charger. Bring me some buds. On game through my fire. So, you know what I'm saying? Before we get ready to go out to a place, my wife getting ready doing her makeup, taking four hours. How she like to do on gaming? You know, on gaming. Doing my thug thizzle. On the controllers, you know, finishing up, finishing up a little mission here, there, you know, give me a little session in, you know, 
I'm here for it. I am here for it, bro. And um, yeah, man, I'm just glad the news finally dropped. I will be there day one on pre-order. Get these things in my hand. I'm going. I want to be amongst the first individuals to get this joint in hand, bro. I'm looking. I'm. I'm. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad we got a date. What? We don't have a date, but I'm glad we got a price. We have an idea of when they drop. I mean, we had kind of idea before because it said before the end of the year, but they reiterate reiterating it's before the end of the year. And man, I'm here. I'm here for it, man. Let me know how y'all feel about it. I'm hyped, of course. But you know, I, I think I think it's I think it's something here, man. I really think it's something here. You know, especially with the strides, cause this device is not cloud capable. But this, we roll into the speculation portion, right? With the strides PlayStation are making in cloud, I would be a fool to not believe at some point in the future, either this device is going to be cloud capable or a V2 of this device is going to be cloud capable. They making crazy strides in cloud technology. And what is playing via the cloud? At the core, it's another very, it's, it's, it's remote play. You know, instead of logging on to your PS5, you logging on to a server somewhere else with the PS5 games on it. It's remote play. You know what I mean? So, with the strides they making in cloud, it just fits together. It just makes sense. I just feel like, again, this ain't confirmed. This ain't confirmed. This is then out. This out there. I mean, other than the fact they they going they going crazy in cloud. But as far as this device access in cloud, this I'm this is just me talking. You know what I mean? It's just me talking. But hey, it's, it's finna be... I'm here for it. You know, but that's all I got for you right now. I just want to make a quick little situation uh, about this PSP. You feel me? PlayStation Portable, baby. I'll catch y'all in the next one. I am gone.